Welcome to Spikes and Heels. And on today's episode, we're gonna do something very special. We are going behind the scenes at FedEx Field to take you where people don't normally get to go. And you're gonna get to see if my family and I decide to purchase season tickets. Hmm. Shout out to Gwen, the other half of Spikes and Heels who couldn't make it to be a part of today's video. This is Sabrina, here we go. Hey guys, my name is Justin. We're out here with Sabrina here today showing around FedEx Field. I'm really excited. We're about two weeks away from football returning out here. So really fun time with the team with everything going on. So if you guys are ever looking at coming out in some games, you know where to go. I'm always happy to help. But for the time being, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And so here we are with Justin. He is taking us into the stadium. It was an absolutely beautiful day, a beautiful breeze. I couldn't have asked for anything more for my family and I, um, looking over at the team store, which we're gonna visit later. But here we go, we're gonna go into um, sections 104 and 103 and just take a little look around. We're gonna go up to 204 and 203 first. But it's just amazing to be here with no one here, you know, we're just so used to fans being around and the stadium being at least partially full. But look at this, there is nobody here and it's just wonderful to see it in this manner. Um, Justin was telling us that there was a major concert over the weekend just before we got there. So you can see there's a lot to clean up which was going on all over the place, cleaning up tidying up to get ready for the season. So please excuse anything that needed to be cleaned as we look around. Take a look at this, look at this field. And so now Justin is taking us down to the 100th level. You know, that's the level that we all want. We all want to be up close and personal to see everything. Look at that feel. Hey son, there's my son real quick. He's been the videographer for this whole video. And as you can see, the field condition is very poor from the concert that took place and all the other summer stuff. So they are working very hard to get it ready for the preseason and the regular season. But look at this view. It would be so great to have these seats and to see the players sweat on their forehead as they run by. Only to dream, right? We're back inside and we're gonna take a look at a lot of things. The first thing is gonna be the Ring of Fame. There are so many famous commander, uh, red skin faces on this wall and I happen to find a few of my favorites, one of which is Art Monk down there. I see Daryl Green, I see Coach Gibbs and Brian Mitchell, just so many faces that we know and love. And so here we are going down to the field level. We're gonna get even more up close and personal um, as we go down onto the actual field, but we're taking the back way. Okay, I just noticed something, y'all. Why do I walk like a grandma? Please, the kind walking. What, what's going on with the water? Anyway, ignore that as we continue on. And as we continue on our walk, we are going to approach the area where the players come in. They park their cars in a particular lot and they come in a particular door, a particular entrance, I should say. And as we round this corner, you're going to be able to see that entrance right next to this mural. So they see this mural every time they come in. But anyway, here is the entrance right there and 
it's so cool to be able to see like what they see on game days. And I want to take a closer look at this mural as well. I thought it was so nice. If you know who the artist is that made this mural, please let me know, put it in the comments or what have you. It's absolutely wonderful. Okay, I'm being real pressed right here. I am running onto the field just as the players do. This is the entrance where the players enter the field and look at the field, you guys. Oh my gosh, the condition is pretty atrocious, but believe me, by the time you see this video, it's gonna look nothing like this. But it was so neat to be on the field to see what the players and the coaches and the media get to see. This is the view up into the seats that the players get to see when they're high-fiving and interacting with the fans. So just so great to be on the field. Take a look, beautiful day. Now this is pretty cool. This is a minute by minute pretty much schedule leading up to kickoff, uh, about two hours worth of what to do, who does what, when, and it just keeps the team on track. So much goes on behind the scenes. And here we have Coach Rivera's room. It's right as you come off the field. He goes in here to game plan to get himself together. Um, the room is empty because they're getting it ready for the season, but this is where he goes when he comes off of the field. Then right next to Coach's room, we have the other coach's locker room. So they gather in there and do what they have to do. It was closed when we were there. But you guys... Oh my gosh, this is something that you've seen on TV a million times. This is the locker room for the players. This is where you see them doing the post game stuff. Everything we need is in this room. You've seen this on TV so many times with them celebrating, with them angry, with whatever their emotions are after a game. So this is where they do what they do. And I'm gonna show you over here to the left. This is like where they kind of get stretched out if they're a little tight. Someone's there to stretch them out and help to loosen them up. So it's like a little room off to the side. Again, everything is empty because they're gonna start preparing for the season. You can also see a lot of concert evidence. Look at this, sequins, sparkles, safety pins oh my gosh from the concert that took place the weekend before so cleaning up going on but you get the gist look at all the super bowl years and we are so due for another one you know we have been waiting 30 plus years for this this is ridiculous but anyway we love them my baby girl kind of making an appearance and here are the quarterback lockers right here, right next to the exit. You're gonna see in a minute where the quarterbacks are closest to the exit on this side. Offense is on one side, defense is on the other in terms of the locker room. There's the exit. So the QBs are closest to the exit. And look at all the workers, guys. I'm telling you, behind the scenes, you have no idea what goes on to prepare for game day. They are putting in brand new televisions to get ready uh, for the stadium, to get the stadium ready. So take a look at all these guys. The female coaches have their own locker room. We got to go in here really quickly. Um, the tour was kind of going pretty quickly with Justin, who I'm so appreciative of. But here we go, we're gonna continue on down. And this is the interview room, everybody. You've seen this on TV a million times, the post-game interviews. And I was saying to Justin, oh, the room is so small to me. And he said, actually, the commanders have one of the larger interview rooms in the league. So I thought that was interesting. And right here is where you see they usually have a backdrop there in the podium, the people speaking. So this is where it takes place. Pretty cool. I thought it would be bigger. It always looks bigger on TV, right? And this little door here is Coach Rivera's personal entrance, okay? So he drives his car there and goes to his office where I showed you before. Take a look at the dance studio. Here we go. This is where all the pep team and dance team and cheerleaders and all the whoever's come in here to do their practicing, their choreography, and they have a good time to get everybody ready, get the crowd pumped up. This is where they do what they do. Take a look.
And so now we're heading back up to the field level, the main concourse, so that we can take a look at some actual seats that are available for season ticket purchase. We're gonna take a look at a couple of different options and we're going to kind of see what it feels like to sit in each different section. So off we go to there. Now, as we were walking along, these seats right here absolutely caught my eye. Wide open to the field, nobody directly in front of you, just gorgeous seats. I'm gonna tell y'all in a minute how much they cost, okay? But for now, let's hear from Justin. Um, like I said, the, the 100s level is pretty much sold out. It is sold out except a couple single seats. Now here's a map of the stadium and the season ticket pricing by level. As you can see, the closer to the field, the more they cost. So here we go, we're gonna take off now. We're gonna pass by these touchdown seats. Y'all already know how much these seats cost. I said, Justin, how much do these seats cost? He said, oh, 20,000 per seat. Okay, so if you have a cool 20,000, you know, laying around, maybe you do check out the touchdown seats. But for us, as you can see, we are still walking, okay? Walking somewhere else. Okay, so here's our first little section. We sat here to take a look to see if we got these season tickets. What would the view be? Not a bad view, kind of on towards the end zone, not on the side, but still not a bad view, lower level somewhat. I wish there were seats up there we could see and still be living, but there ain't no seats up there, y'all. So, you know, we gotta get seats in the stadium. We're gonna go check out another section of seats, just looking around to see what would fit best. Um, my husband's very tall, and so we're trying to find seats that would be best for his knees and our overall view. So we're heading out with Justin. Before we go, we're gonna stop one more place, but Justin's taking us um, to the exit. He's been so wonderful, you guys, and I'm gonna tell you all how to contact him towards the end of the video, but he's walking us out so that we can go and take a look at the team store. We gotta go in there. And so here it is. They have some of everything that you could ever want. Shirts and pants and whatever God knows you could want. They have it here in the store. Um, the workers in there were very friendly. One person who will remain nameless is a Cowboys fan. I don't know how they let this person in there, but they were very friendly. So they have a wide selection of hats. They also have a wide selection of women's apparel, men's apparel. They even have stuff for the dogs. They don't leave out anybody, okay? They also even have memorabilia that signed. Memorabilia, did I say that right? Anyway, stuff that signed. So did my family and I get season tickets? Did we do it or did we not? What do you think? Here's your answer, three, two, one, and yes, we did. I got season tickets with my family. I cannot believe it. There's always been such a long wait and we wait no more. We are season ticket holders, so yay for us. And so if you wanna be a season ticket holder, call Justin Harding. He can also help you with concerts and anything else going on with the stadium, call Justin. So we hope you enjoyed this video. This is one half of Spikes and Heels. This is Sabrina. Hope you enjoyed it. We will see you next time. In the meantime, watch another video or subscribe. Bye.